Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Cortec. My name is Chelsea, and today we're going to be taking a first look at the Wham Bam Flexible Build Plate System for resin printers. So for anyone who has resin printers, this is going to be a game changer for you. Just like the other flex plate systems, these are made from the same high quality spring steel that will not kink or warp when you flex them, which is very important that they return to their shape. Now you may think, how in the heck is this going to work with resin? And the way that they've done it is a very specific magnetic sheet that they used a special 3M adhesive that is going to resist all of those super harsh chemicals that you're going to get from the resin and all of your cleaning agents that you use after your resin prints are completed. Right now they're ready with multiple different sizes to fit numerous different resin printers. Specifically, some of them being the Mars, the Mars Pro, um, the Wanhao D7, you've got the Elegoo Saturn, you've got the Any Cubic Photon, um, and they've even got one that's going to fit the PO Poly Phenom. All of these right now are pre-order. Pricing-wise, they're coming in at what I would say is a very fair price. You've got the PO Poly Phenom, which you can get a double wham, which is going to mean you're going to get two spring steel sheets and the magnetic base um, for $91. You can bump it down to the single spring steel sheet for $66 for the PO Poly Phenom. Now, if you're looking at the smaller printers like the Mars or the Creality, um, you're going to be looking quite a bit less since they're such a smaller piece. Um, so you're going to be starting as low as $32 to $34 for printers in that size range. Now I'm going to hop over to show you how easy these are to set up exactly. So first you're going to want to have some isopropyl alcohol. I have um, pure 100% isopropyl alcohol here and you're going to make want to make sure that this bed is very, 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 very clean. You're going to want to make sure that there is zero resin residue left on that at all. Um, some people even suggest sticking it in the curing chamber for a few minutes to make sure that there is nothing left on it. Once you're sure that there is no resin left on that bed whatsoever and it is very clean, you're going to let it dry and then you're going to take the magnetic base, peel back just the edge, and basically you're going to want to apply it like you would apply a phone screen protector for your cell phone. You're going to want to place one edge and slowly peel the underneath back as you're pressing down the part that is sticky on that magnetic base. You're going to want to make sure that there's no bubbles in it and that it is very, very smoothly applied just like that. And then you're going to want to make sure and just press it on there, rub it on there, put a piece of paper over it and really give it a good rub and make sure that it is stuck very well. I had a little bit of an edge on the um, Elegoo Mars Pro when I applied it and all you have to do, it very easily cuts with a box cutter and just slice that extra bit of magnetic base off of there. Then the spring steel sheet just magnets right on there, easy to pop off. Let's hop over to the next size up. We've got one for the Elegoo Saturn. Same thing. Peel back the edge. Line it up in the corners. And just slowly start to apply it as you're peeling back that paper to reveal the sticky side of the magnetic base. really get some good pressure to adhere it on there. Give it a good push if you want to. And what you're going to want to do is actually let these sit overnight. Um, I let mine sit for a good 24 hours before I actually used them with any sort of prints because you want to make sure that that 3M adhesive that they have on there is really, really good and set. Now we've got the massive PO Poly Phenom. Honestly, I was a little scared to attempt to apply this because of how big it is, but it was just as easy, exact same thing. Line it up and slowly apply it.
So as you can see, they are super easy to apply. Your main thing is that you're just going to want to make sure that that build plate before you apply is very, 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 very clean. Now we've got a print that we're pulling off the Wham Bam Flex Plate system here. Um, this was off of the Elegoo Saturn. I did leave it on overnight. So as you can see right here, it's going to pop off super easy. Super, super easy. Maybe a little too easy. So be careful if you have left it on overnight because it will just pop right off. That base was printed directly on the build sheet. Super easy to pull off. So much easier than trying to pry it off with a scraper. Boom, slap it back on. You're about ready to go for another print. So if you're a resin printer owner right now and you're looking for something to make your experience just a little bit easier, I would highly suggest maybe looking into something like this. I think that so far it's worked great for me. Um, I will keep people updated if you wanna follow me over on my Twitter. All right guys, well that's it for me. If you'd like to help support us, you can head over to our Patreon where we upload multiple models every month and also give sneak peeks of things that we're working on. And sometimes we'll upload stuff quite a bit early for our patrons so that you'll have it way in advance before we even upload a video. So if you're interested in something like that, head over there, give us a pledge, and we appreciate it so, so much. And until next time, keep creating.